Hello, and Merry Christmas! Well, almost. Earlier this Christmas Eve, I had to go up to my attic to see if I could find some extra Christmas lights. Well, I didn't find them. But I did come across something else to brighten up my holiday season. Actually, I found a few things. Sentimental things from my childhood. Then I started getting all weepy-eyed and nostalgic, and I just knew I had to share this with somebody, and... Well, you were the first person to come along. So I'd like to share a story with you tonight. A Christmas story. When I was a little girl, my father used to read this story to me every Christmas Eve. I always loved my father reading to me, but I especially loved it when he read this particular story. Before he started, he would always light this lamp. He called it the Flicker of Hope. Then he would wind up this music box to create some mood music. Then he would sit beside my bed and begin to read. His soft and tender voice was a lullaby and always warmed me more than the blankets that tucked me in. Every time I read this story, I can still hear his voice echoing in the chambers of my heart. Well, now that I have everything ready, I can begin to tell you the story. The story of the Little Match Girl. The sun was beginning to set. It had stopped snowing earlier, but somehow this day in particular seemed a bit chillier than the ones before. Lights were shining from every window, and there was a most delicious aroma of roast goose in the streets, for it was Christmas Eve. For it was Christmas Eve. In this little town without a name, in this little town without a name, people were hurrying home. Home to their families. Home to their friends. Home to a glowing fireplace to keep them warm. There was a magic in the air as people finished up their last-minute Christmas shopping. Vendors were preparing to close up their shops, getting ready for a much-needed day of rest. Children all over the world were wildly anticipating the presents that they would soon open. The whole town was vividly alive. For tomorrow, oh, tomorrow was Christmas Day. streets. She was bareheaded and barefoot. She had no home to call her own. She carried a quantity of matches in her old apron and held a couple of them in her hand. Nobody had bought any from her during all the long day and nobody had even given her a copper. 
everyone was too caught up in their own schedules to even notice her. Matches? Matches? Three for a popper? Matches? But they had no need for matches. Right now, it seemed what they needed was a little more time. So much more to do before tomorrow, still so many things to do. So much more to do before tomorrow, still so many things to do. So much more to do before tomorrow. Oh, I'm 